So the Akron men's soccer team took on West Virginia. And really, you know, Akron's going to coast, right? Wrong. 39 seconds into the game, West Virginia scored. We hadn't even set up our camera yet. So that, that just set the tone for the night. But really, at first, Akron created a lot of chances. It seemed like they might have been able to survive this. Sam Gainford with a nice shot there that goes across the goal frame, but no one's able to capitalize and punch it in. Then Header forces a save. Then Jonathan Lewis, nice ball from Adam Najan, gets the goalie out of position. But Lewis, isn't, Lewis and Akron are not able to capitalize, and it's out for a corner, nothing doing. Then Najan looking far post. Headed out by West Virginia, but Akron's looking like they're going to create some chances. But real summary of the night is that Akron, whenever they had any chance to do anything, they didn't have a lot of help from their players, they didn't have a lot of options to go to. There, Sam Gainford just swarmed by three defenders, and he didn't have anywhere to go. Here, another chance for Akron. Header to flex off another Akron player, and then it's punched out by West Virginia. Then here, Adam Najem off to Lewis. Najem gets it back, but one, two, three. I mean, Adam Najem was a great player, but I'll take the three defenders any day in that situation. So that's just a tough break. And then, but here, Akron off a counterattack. It looks like they might have something going. It's all Soros, out to Marcel Zajic, but I mean, he has nowhere to go with the ball. That's like Katie Ledecky during the Olympics. No one else is in frame. But the possession is still going for Akron. They're trying to get something going. Here off to Nick Hines. He doesn't have anywhere to go. Back to Bolana. All the way back to Brad Ruhak. To Soros and he slips up and that sums up the night pretty well. Second half now. West Virginia on the counterattack and uh, I'm no expert, but you might you might want to consider marking him. And Akron learned that the hard way as Jad Arlen makes it 2-0 for the Mountaineers. Shocking to be up 1-0, really, but West Virginia makes it 2. Here, Adam Najan trying to get things going, you know, get another goal, but he turns it over. Then Arlen again gets the ball in the box, looking dangerous again, but nothing doing this time. Akron's able to get it out for a goal kick. Then here, West Virginia forces another turnover. Out to Arlen again. He heads it down, goes between Nick Hines and Danilo Rajan. Flicks it over Ben Lute to flex off of him, and slow motion rolls into the net to make it 3-0 West Virginia. Then here, Sky Harder coming into the game, and Brad Ruhak got one back, but definitely wasn't going to be enough. West Virginia would end up winning this one, final score 3-1, and Jared Embick was not happy with the team's performance after the match, but the Zips did kind of make up for it with a 2-0 win against Ohio State later on in the week with freshman Jonathan Lewis and Nick Hines getting both goals.